Okay, uh, you know I always start this, always, always, always. Um, property, it's find it, it's farm it, and it's fund it. And here we're talking about farming it, making money in buy to sell. We're going to briefly talk about finding it, and we're going to briefly talking about how to, how to fund buy to sell, because um, there are a number of different ways. But here it's about how do you make lump sums of cash. Um, we know that buy to sell kind of between five and three quarter months and nine months. And so you start it, it stretches you, it stretches you, it stretches you, it stretches you, and then vroom, 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 all the money comes in, which is lovely. So you will have that cash flow stretch. So your cash flow books in your, in your drop boxes, I want you to use them. Um, but it's rather nice lump sums of money. Obviously, it's risky. You're not in charge of what a person pays, but you are in charge of doing a, a large amount of research in order to be as clear as you can be in a variable market where you think the price point is going to be and also to be as clear as you can be on how much you think the refurb is going to be. So you, you kind of own two corners of the triangle but not the final corner which is how much is somebody going to pay. At the moment they're still paying high but do you remember we've had this discussion before where is the market heading which we're going to talk about today and we've certainly picked up in the last two months slight changes and would everyone else agree? just starting isn't it so let's see where that gets to and in your risk assessment of your own business how many buy to sells you're going to be running at any one time to keep yourself as risk-free as possible within a risky environment which is buy to sell <laughs>